Monitor calibration is best accomplished using a specific hardware device, a colorimeter or a spectrophotometer, or what some refer to as a puck. While the human eye may be the perfect tool to navigate a human being through the world, it's probably the worst tool for monitor calibration. And that's because human vision is adaptive and it doesn't provide the empirical data which is what we need to properly calibrate a monitor. Calibration devices are relatively inexpensive and widely available. The one I'm using is the i1 Display Pro from XRite. The software, i1 Profiler, also from XRite. So with our calibration device attached and the software launched, I'll show you just how simple monitor calibration is. I tell my students, it's like making pancakes. You just follow the instructions. So from the home screen, user mode, confirm that basic is selected. This will engage the simplest and most automatic form of calibration. Now ensure that the software sees your calibration device down here. And next, select display profiling, which brings up your next screen. Now confirm that the software has correctly identified your display and technology type. Normally the software will accurately determine these both and in this case it did correctly identify my monitor and the type of technology the display uses. Next is white point. A white point of D65 is an appropriate standard for viewing photos. However, the luminance setting of 120 candelas is in many cases too bright, which results in prints that are too dark. I suggest that a setting of 100 is a better initial choice. So I'll change that to 100. You'll probably still need to print out some proof images after calibration to determine if 100 is still too dark or too light. If your prints are now too light, try increasing the candelas in increments of five and then recalibrating. Conversely, if your prints are still too dark, try decreasing your candelas in increments of five. Now on to gamma. I suggest standard is the appropriate choice, 2.20. The ambient light smart controls below should be only checked if you are working in an ambient light situation that fluctuates. I suggest a consistent ambient light condition is crucial for consistent output, so I would leave this box unchecked. Now click on Next and the Color Calibration screen becomes available. Once again, check that the software recognizes your calibration device. And down under Display Hardware Setup, uncheck the Adjust Brightness, Contrast, and RGB gains manually. We'll let the software set those values for us. Click Start, click Start Measurement and follow the instructions. If the ambient light filter on the i1 Display Pro is covering the lens, the software will prompt you to rotate it to the other end. Now the software prompts you to tilt your screen back to ensure a solid placement of the calibration device. Be sure to confirm that you've tilted the screen back and then place the calibrator over the center of your screen. Confirm that your ambient light conditions are those you normally work under and click Next. The software now displays and samples a series of colors. The software now advises you to rotate the ambient light filter back to the position where it covers the lens. Now position the device in front of your monitor and click Next. This will sample your ambient light and make a slight adjustment to the final profile. Click to the next screen, and here's where you name the profile. It's best to include the name of the monitor, here I'm going to put down NEC, and I'm going to put today's date, which is 6 underscore 
seven underscore 18. And I have the option here of telling it where I want that profile placed, either on the user level or the system level. I put it on the user level because I'm the only person that uses this machine. And then it asks you if you want it to remind you to reprofile. I say every four weeks or every month is an appropriate time. So I'll make sure that's at four weeks. And then you want to have the ambient light monitoring off. You now want to click Create and Save the Profile. And we'll say OK here to overwrite the one that exists. So we have created and saved the profile. We now have the opportunity to click the before and after up here. Here's the before, kind of bright. And here's the after, which knocks down the brightness a little bit. So depending on your calibrator and software of choice, this whole process can vary. But as I mentioned before, just follow the instructions. The settings that are appropriate for most calibration devices are the CIE Illuminant should be D65 or 6500K. Candelas, a initial setting of 100 Candelas is appropriate. And Gamma is 2.20. So now that we have calibrated the monitor, the optimization process can begin.